So in one of my last videos, I showed a step-by-step -step process of setting up 20 different products with the print-on-demand provider Printful for my Shopify store. I mentioned in that video that the product mockups that the Printful print-on-demand provider had were okay. They looked pretty good. However, I felt like a lot of people would probably be using them and they kind of still felt a little bit generic. So I just mentioned that there were better ways to find your product photos, but I didn't share my resources yet. So in this video, you're going to see all of my resources for what I use for creating great images for social media, ads, website, everything I need for a print on demand store and how you can get started with better images already for your store as well. So I've got five different places where I source my images. So we're gonna start out first with one of my absolute favorites, which is placeit.net. They have a huge library of different designs and different types of products that you can easily search for. Honestly, it's really nice searching for things using their filtering system on the side to find the best images that you can find for your products. They also have a nice wide variety of different models and different seasons as well. So you can really kind of keep using their subscription monthly. Plus they make it really easy with their online software to just add in your design, reposition it, change the coloring if you need to, and then easily download the image. Honestly, it's a very seamless process and one that you can easily outsource to a VA as well to also just free up more of your time. So Placeit is definitely a monthly subscription and a service that I recommend. And I've got a additional video showing you step-by-step -step how to use Placeit. So if you're interested, I will link that in the description below. So next on my list would be to purchase the images that you need individually using a marketplace like Creative Market or Etsy. So you can find a little bit more specialized photography that still has kind of blank areas that you can use like a blank poster cutout for whatever you need and you can put your poster design in there. It makes it really nice because these are honestly a lot of times less used photography than a bigger site like Placeit and they're a little bit more niche and specialized. So for example, I can use one of my product, which is my ABC poster. And instead of just putting it kind of in a generic poster or frame, I can find a different design where it has a children's room and I can put it in there. So it makes a little bit more sense and it's a little more easy to understand instantly what the product is going to be, which is really helpful, of course, with ads, website, social media, all that jazz. Plus with Creative Market and with Etsy, you're supporting small businesses and freelancers, which is always a win in my book as well. And a lot of times these images are really easy for you to customize. They've already done a lot of the hard work for you. So it's pretty easy to purchase one and get started and get it customized and up in your store quickly. So my third option is Canva. So I recently signed up for their pro subscription and honestly, I'm like, why didn't I sign up for this sooner? Because you can get things like transparent backgrounds, animated videos, as well as mock-ups. So they didn't really have any mock-ups that would be fitting for my children's bookstore. However, they did have a nice variety and I honestly could see a lot of different businesses wanting to use some of these mock-ups. Also, I love using Canva as a editing tool. So if I purchase different files from Creative Market or from Etsy, a lot of them say that they can be integrated into Canva and you can add them in and then quickly add in your design and move it around there. So Canva it can be great for both the mockups and also the design editing services. Canva does have a free subscription, so you could still use the design editing services without going to the pro and also getting the mockups as well. So there's a lot of different options there that you can choose from. Okay, so tip number four is to order samples and take the photos yourself. Sometimes I know this can seem super daunting, but I promise it's really not that hard and you can take really nice and great product photos from your home. So I'm going to be sharing a couple different tips and tutorials coming up in a new video. So make sure that you are subscribed. I'm also trying out some different things like I got a turntable to do a 360 view of a product. So lots of interesting stuff all about taking your own DIY product photos. So if you're interested, make sure to subscribe to this channel so you don't miss out. But overall, you can take really great photos at your house. You just need a honestly a up-to-date cell phone. They have great cameras and then some natural lighting. You can stylize things a little bit more by bringing in similar elements and stylizing it more to where you're making kind of a featured image and a featured view. So people again can see very quickly what your product is. So if you're selling coffee beans, then make sure you have a 
coffee pot or a coffee mug next to it and just stylize it like you're in a kitchen. You could also do flat lays and other things as well to have a more cohesive feel on your site. So this is a great skill to always try and be improving for your home photography skills because I promise it'll come in handy for your social media images as well. There's so many reasons why you need to take great product photos for your brand. So make sure to stay tuned. We've got more videos coming to help you out. Okay, tip number five is to hire on Fiverr. So I've mentioned Fiverr a couple times already on this channel. I've actually got three different videos where I've hired out different people on Fiverr. I've hired illustrators for my children's books, videographers for different videos for ads for the children's books, as well as photographers for product photos. I've had so many good experiences on Fiverr. I can't recommend it enough. And I've got links to the different videos that I have covering the different people that I have, as well as I'm sharing who I actually hired for that. So if you're not familiar, Fiverr is a freelancing platform where you can be connected with designers, photographers, whatever you want from around the world. It's super helpful. You can get really quick turnarounds for affordable pricing. And honestly, I found great talent on there. You need to just make sure that you're checking out the reviews and their recent orders to make sure that they're a credible person and they get their work done on time. But other than that, I've had really great responses and I highly recommend doing Fiverr, especially for a small business so you can start outsourcing a little bit and freeing up your time. So you could always hire a photographer on Fiverr. You will have to ship them the actual product so that they can take pictures of it and you probably won't get those back unless you maybe request it, um, but you'll hopefully get back some great photos as well. So I've got more videos all about hiring specifically on Fiverr, again, that I will link below. Okay, so I hope you found this video helpful and you feel a little bit better about creating custom images for your print on demand business or any kind of product images for your Shopify store. If you are interested in more print on demand content, I've got a couple other videos here all about customizing and setting up products with print on demand provider Printful, as well as setting up their shipping as well. Also make sure to hit that subscribe button below so that you'll be the first to be notified when I put out new videos all about Shopify and how to grow your online store.